today I am reviewing this thing. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. It's me, if you remember me, Waffle, and I'm here today with a Waffles Report. Waffles Reports. Yokata! So, um, sorry to keep you waiting. Um, a lot's happened in the last few years since I uploaded, but, you know, there's places we can't go, so thank you very much for MJ to invite me back on. Give you guys some reports from Japan again. So, if any of you like video games, you would know that this year is quite a special year for a very big franchise. It's the 20th anniversary of Fantasy Star Online. But also, it's the 35th anniversary of the Super Mario franchise. So, today, catching me by surprise, just uploaded by a friend of mine. I didn't see any news of this, but 7-Eleven... You probably know if you've been to Japan, but obviously you probably know from the United States. Have a 35th anniversary collaboration with Nintendo. So today I am reviewing this thing. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to look. I'm not sure how the autofocus is going to be. My first time using this camera for this. This is Bowser's Fiery Chicken and Chili Sauce. Or, as his Japanese name is, Koopa. Koopa's Gekikara Karage Roll which means yeah that's an interesting thing it says fried chicken and chili sauce but it kind of says here that it's a an ultra spicy fried chicken roll so this is uh as my usual thing goes just one take so hopefully i don't mess this up hopefully there's no earthquakes and not my camera over so um let's open this and have a look so i've never really seen them do collaborations to this level where they're Fresh goods have characters on them because, you know, it costs quite a lot. But, oh, there is a lot of chili powder in here. Well, um, this might actually be extra spicy, so um, I'm going to have to be very careful here. Um, so, yeah, you can see that there's a one, two, three pieces of fried chicken. And uh, maybe you can see it just a bit there. But there is some fat flakes of chili in there. Hopefully I'm picking that up. That looks very interesting. I'm going to look at the ingredients very quickly. So, he just says that you've got the fried chicken that's been fused in spice. Bread, obviously. Spicy she sauce. Spicy sauce, okay. Spicy sauce. Got mayonnaise, ketchup, other things, which is interesting. Don't want to give away too much. Chili sauce, you got particles of papri paprika in there. Uh, yeah, the usual things, your usual, you know, preservatives. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of eggs, there's some gelatin in there, obviously, good sauce. There's some beans in there as well, which might mean that some of the meat is not real meat. So maybe some zombie amalgamation of chicken and, be and meat replacement. So I'm going to go in. See how it is, see how spicy it is, but it looks, smells pretty good. All right, I'm going to go in for one bite. Mmm, oh. A little bit dry. Probably could have done with a bit more sauce, but. Mmm. As far as 7-Eleven goes, this is maybe the second spiciest fresh fruit I've had from there. Um, the first being a Halloween habanero burrito, which was not anywhere near the spiciest of a, of a habanero, but it was relatively spicy. I'm going to try and see where is most of the sauce. I'm going to open this up a bit more. Wow, it's very... So you can see that's most of the sauce side, but if you I can be very careful about dropping it. There is a lot of this red stuff on the other. All right, let's just try to open it up properly. Fuck. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of red sauce on this side. Oh, man, it's camera. Yeah, I think the middle one has just a bit more sauce. So, excuse me, I'm going for another one. Mmm. 
Mmm. Okay, that's much hotter. I'm trying to work out that bottom part is just straight up chilly. Obviously, the fact that it's mayonnaise base is kind of holding back the heat, but wow, that's actually quite spicy for a 7 standards. It's probably be interesting to show you guys this as a it caught me by surprise, so check with MJ and he was quite interested with it. So I figured I'd upload it. Um I'm not gonna give a score because I don't really do scores and it'd be all over the place because I don't I haven't really practiced this. It's my probably my third time here on the channel. So I don't really want to give it a score but it's I hope they bring this back when the country opens, when everyone can come in and see the Super Mario World, USJ, the Olympics, probably not going to happen, but it's a shame because they probably hoped for this to be here whilst all you guys could visit. It's a shame because, well, the English is on there, but they put English on a lot of things. It does warn you that if you're very sensitive to spicy stuff, um, like if you're a child or just not very good with spices, you should probably stay away. But there's a pa oh, okay, here we go. It's just a lot of black pepper, really. A lot of black pepper. Usually, they'd say what kind of chili they'd be on here, but no, just straight up black pepper. But it's pretty good. The flavors, all right, for a 7 Eleven piece of material. <laughs> um, there's better places here. But maybe I'll talk about that another day when the country opens and I can kind of give you guys some suggestions about where to go. But yeah, um, sorry to keep you waiting. And I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. We love